talk about what I'm drinking currently. This is my water bottle. Isn't it amazing? I'm trying to take this with me everywhere I go and just drink it all day long. This is my, my mirror stand today. It has so many purposes. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing this look that you see on my face right here, minus um, my face. Y'all have seen me do my face plenty of times and I will just link my foundation routine down below or you can check out any of my other videos and I will go step by step with um, what I do on my face. But we are going to be doing the eye and the lip look today. This little heart area right here. Um, and I love how this look turned out. I was really wanting to do a classic look today, um, meaning wing liner, bold lip kind of thing. Um, but obviously the classic red and the classic black wing liner um, with lashes. And oh, I just think it's so pretty and beautiful and girly. Um, but obviously this red isn't as, um, I guess, classic as what you would usually see. I want to do more of a candy apple red instead of more of a blue tone red. I think this is really appropriate for summertime and we don't have too, too much longer of it being nice and warm. So I wanted to throw in my summer vibe wherever I could get it today. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. We will just hop right in to the tutorial. So keep watching. All right, we're gonna get started. <clears throat> so this is literally gonna be probably one of my most simplest makeup looks I've done, but I've been wanting to do it and I've kept it on my list just because it is such a beautiful, classic, everybody wants to know how to do it type of tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm literally gonna be doing two eyeshadows or using two eyeshadows today, that is it. And I'm just gonna take it from the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette and I'm just gonna be using two of her shadows. The shadows that I'm using are gonna be this cream white color and this pale um, cool tone brown color. So literally those colors are probably in every single palette that you own. So just take whatever eyeshadows you have in your kit and just work from that. So to start, I'm just going to take the Morphe M222 brush and that white shade in her palette and I'm gonna tap that in the inner corner and on the lid of the eye. I'm gonna want everything to be nice and bright. I'm gonna grab my mirror, it's right below me. So I'm wanting everything to be nice and bright. So I'm focusing all that tension, all of that shadow um, in the inner part of my eye to make it look nice and wide and nice and awake. And just pack on that shadow until you have the desired pigment. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of that and just tap it right underneath my brow bone just to give a little bit of highlight there. So now obviously you can tell this eye is looking a lot brighter, a lot more awake than this one. So we're gonna match it up. All right, so now both eyes are looking nice and bright. We are going to add one more shadow and it is that cool tone brown shade that we are gonna put on in our crease. So I'm just gonna take a fluffier brush. This is the Morphe M330 and that cool tone brown shade in the palette and we're gonna tap that right in the crease. So for this classic look, obviously you want just a slight defined crease. That's what makes it really pretty and keep your eyes um, nice and open, but also just showing that definition in your eye, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that just in the crease. And then when I have less shadow on my brush, I'm just gonna pull that shadow outward toward the end of my brow, if that makes sense. So kind of just making um, a little V. Since we will be doing a winged liner today, it's not necessary that you have to connect that shadow to um, the end of your lash line. So we're just focusing it on the crease and blending it out. And literally that is it for the eyeshadow. I love classic simple looks like this just because they're always, they're just timeless, you know, they're always in style and just so beautiful. It's so pretty and girly, I feel like. All right, so the eyeshadow is done. Super, super, super simple. Um, but again, it's a super classic look. So I am excited. We are going to move on to the liner now. 
So I do have a video that I posted. I mean, it was probably one of my first videos. I need to redo it. Um, but I will link that down below on how to do a wing eyeliner like a professional every single time. Um, it is using the tape trick. And I'm sure y'all have, you know, heard of that. You just put tape on the outer corner of your eye. You can be as messy as you want to. And then you just peel that tape off and you're good to go with a sharp wing liner. You can also do your liner before you even put any makeup on your face. Obviously I have a full face on. I did it before I started filming. But if you don't, then you can always do your winged eyeliner before you do your foundation and just clean it up with a makeup wipe or a Q-tip or anything like that just to make it nice and sharp. I will just be winging it today. <laughs> no pun intended. So let's see how it goes. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using um, the Maybelline Eye Studio in Blackest Black. This is one of my favorites from the drugstore. And I'm just going to be using a fine liner brush from Real Techniques. I really like this brush. It is nice and thin, so you can easily make a sharp line. So I'm just gonna go in with um, some of that eyeliner. And I kind of swirl my brush in it like this, if you all see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of creating the product on the end of the tip and making a really sharp little point with the brush. And now we're just going to go in and flip it around. Um, so I have my mirror right here, but hopefully y'all can tell what I'm doing. I'm just going to start creating a line. So I like to start from the outer corner of my eye right here. And from my lower lash line, I just follow it up, if that makes sense. So I'm going to start here and just make a line, make a line going up towards my brow bone. And then I'm going to start about halfway where that line is and just draw it in towards my lash line. And then it definitely depends on your eye shape and how thick you want the liner. Um, usually I do not, um, go super thick with my line. I have pretty almond eyes, so if I do go super thick, it just completely shuts my eye out. So I stop my eyeliner about halfway in. Now obviously this is not gonna be the most popular opinion with a lot of eye shapes. So if you want to, go ahead and draw the whole line um, from your the top of your lash line. I'm just gonna do a tiny, tiny line, um, just kind of thickening up my lash line a little bit. But I am not going to go all the way in. So if you have an eye shape similar to mine, um, maybe try this trick out if you kind of strayed away from liner or any type of wing eyeliner um, because of this, because you just feel like it just completely, completely blacks out um, your eye and it looks like you just have black eyeshadow all over your lid. Um, try this out. Try to do a thin line across the lash line and then do a skinnier wing on the outer corner of your eye. All right, so one wing liner is on. So, little trick. If you are like me and have already done your face makeup and you're like, oh, I really wish I could make the outer corner a little bit sharper. Um, all you have to do is take a small brush. It can be a flat top kabuki brush. <laughs> Don't take a kabuki brush. It could be um, just a flat shader brush. Just any brush that is small and your concealer. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer and we're just going to carve that liner out just to make it a little bit sharper and a little bit prettier in the outer corner of the eye. All right, and then <clears throat> finished product, you have a wing that is nice and sharp. Nice and crisp. Super, super easy. So that's a couple tricks. If you do already have your foundation on and you're like, shoot, I'm doing a wing eyeliner today, or if you just decide to do a wing liner and you're feeling good, um, and you just want to clean it up and make it a little bit sharper. This is a really easy way to just take a little bit of your concealer that you used and clean it up, make it nice and sharp, and you can be as messy as you want initially. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, make it nice and sharp like this one, and I'll be back. All right, so we got two sharp wings going on, and they look so good. I'm so happy with how each of them turned out. All right. So now we really only have one more step since we've done our face and 
our eyes well I guess I so obviously y'all know I do have lash extensions on so that's why it kind of looks complete right now um, this is when obviously you would apply your mascara your falsies and anything that you want to do on your lower lash line so I'm gonna keep it nice and light just because I do think a more classic look doesn't have a super heavy um, lower lash line so I'm just gonna go back in <clears throat> with the brush that we use for the white shade. And I'm gonna go in with the brown this time and just line up my lower lash line with that just to give my, um, my bottom just a little bit of definition. I really like the whole focus being on the upper lash line, um, just keeping all the, the area nice and bright, nice and awake and everything like that. So now we are going to do a classic red lip except we're going to do like a little summery twist off of it and do more of a candy apple red i think this will be really pretty for summer and i mean we can wear this this color all year long but it's really you know the best time to wear it in the summer so we are going to just pop this on and I am not going to use any liner today. I know that's kind of um, scary. But <laughs> if you want to, go ahead and put it on now and then put this on. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in American Doll. This is their liquid lipstick. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on my lips. I love these formulas. Now we're just going to keep the bottom lip. Oh my gosh, it looks so funny. <laughs> So pretty for summer, I love it. So I think this red just kind of completes it as a total like summery classic look. <laughs> I always gotta throw my, my summer in there, you know? All right, everyone, that completes this look. I am so thrilled with how this turned out. I promise it is one of the most simplest glam looks to do. It took, I mean, literally probably about 15 minutes to do total. Um, and once you master the wing liner, I know it's scary at first, but it really, really is very simple to do especially when you have all these tips and tricks i don't think anyone can be perfect at it all the time but you can definitely get the guideline down and then use tape or a makeup wipe if you don't have your foundation on yet or um the concealer trick that i use today it makes it so much more simple i promise but that is it guys if y'all want to see what i use on my face i will have that link down below as well and also my um, tutorial on my wing liner if y'all are interested in that. Um, but yeah, that is basically it. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all try this look out, tag me below. I will link all of my social media links down in the description bar as well. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and I will see y'all soon. Mwah.